my there she God. is. There she is. Okay, come on. What? Room tour. The room is beautiful. It's really high. This is in the Coco Pelli Hostel. I'm trying to get all of it in here. This is our bedroom. Nice big bed. Nice little closet area for your coats. Beautiful big archway. I mean, the rooms are probably at least 25 feet high. Comes into this little area. We got the beautiful floors, couch. It's nice painting here. And then back here is the bathroom area. Nice big bathroom, shower. It's all private, which is super nice. And then this door back here, which we didn't even really look at. You got your own private deck. <laughs> so did not realize this is a little private deck. There's a sitting area. No, we didn't even get to use it. No, nice little outdoor area here. You can wake up, have your breakfast maybe, enjoy some, uh, enjoy the weather. I know we did not get to use this at all, so. But yeah, it's cool. Okay, so we're in room 215, 215. We really like this place. The only problem is the bathroom is right next door. So people come back drunk and are pretty loud at night. But the cheat code for that is to bring earplugs. Time to check out. Yeah, we're already late. We're late. All right, we gotta go. I'm gonna do a couple more shots here as we walk out because there's a living space that's really nice for working and there's also a nice, really beautiful reception area and outdoor space. <laughs> All right, day four, we're still in Lima. Gonna catch a really nice lunch today at a street in Gaston. And then we're catching a flight to Cusco a little bit later on. Okay, here it is. Welcome, Celeste, to, to street in Gaston. Oh, there you go. Cool. Nice. Gracias. Okay, here we are. Sure to Gaston. Oh, we do a cheers. Cheers, okay. Okay. So tell me what we got here. Ooh, that, that kind of tastes like fernet a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, so this is puff bread with a scallop. Bread. Okay, and then we have a little mini pizza. That's this. This is the puff bread. That's the puff bread. And this is yeah, the mini pizza. This potatoes. is the mini pizza. This is the pizza. There it is. They're super slippery. These look really nice. They have chili oil on top from the north of Peru. They look delicious. I got my wine pairing here. Okay, we're gonna shoot them. Okay. Yeah, okay, so this is onions, onions pickled and pickled yellow. And, yellow. And then we have, I have a champagne pairing to go with it here. Looks good. Okay, so tell us what we gotta do. We gotta stir it. Dock with egg and so urchin. Dock with egg and sea urchin and beans, Chinese beans. Chinese beans and rose pairing. This is the guanciale. Guanciale. And then this is the fish. This is the fish where? Right here. You can Inside. see it. Yeah. Fish. Guanciale. Guanciale. Guanciale, sorry. Tomato. It's like a ceviche. Ooh. Ceviche, pork, and fish. All right. And we have a nice uh, Bruno Berliner and Riesling combination. All right, so here's what we have we have some shrimp. Raw again. Raw shrimp. Lots of raw meat today. They put this on the grill for a few seconds to get that, sh that real flavor, that smokiness. And then they have, they put it in a hen broth with some spices, so maybe some little chili oil. Everything has chili oil on it here. This is a Rosé Bianco wine from the Lange region. All right, Celeste, so what's on your pomegranate plate here? Leeks, Romanesco, pine nuts, chachatella. Chachatella? Yep. That's it. And we have a Portuguese wine here from Porto. This is the wild shrimp, grilled tomatoes, 
and green olive jelly here. With the pairing My with the favorite Riesling. Favorite olives. Favorite olives? Yeah, it's your favorite. This Riesling was really good. Celeste actually really liked it. This is a wine from... It smells like Pisco. Pisco. It smells sweet. It smells sweet. But it's actually pretty dry. <laughs> it does taste old. It tastes like kind of like an old like leathery kind of flavor a little bit. Right? You get some of that? But it's like some lime too. It's a little like stinky cheese. Stinky cheese. But it's good. It's unfiltered. It's an unfiltered one. It's called Alejandra. Alejandria. From Pisco Peru. From Pisco Peru. Very good. Put a little backcountry Adams County boy here in Lima, Peru with his fancy wife. You're fancy. I'm a redneck. Joey. Humita, corn humita. Okay, so what they did, they brought it out to our table, hot, in a corn husk, unraveled like it. Like a tamale. Like a tamale. Brought it out, dropped it here. And this is kind of like a pico de gallo, but what was it called? Ahi. That's the short term. Paired with a Peruvian wine, and this is like a very good, unfiltered wine. Tastes a little bit like kind of like an old leather, but it's a pisco wine from pisco, which we were, already went to. It's very good. It's very Peruvian in the moment. All right, so we got a sherry with us, a very good sherry. All right, so this is a pig testa, which is a head. Pig testa, barnacles, dry and dry potato. potato. Okay. There you go. So this is the pig's head, barnacles, and dry potato. And this is a really sweet 30, 30 year age sherry. Sherry. Shabby. And if they go. So good together, it's like ridiculous. Whale stuff with rice, rice and honey. Honey sauce. Honey sauce, looks good. Yeah. And we have a nice Malbec and Cabernet Franc mixture from Argentina. Looks good. Wow, it looks good. We're just finishing our first dessert course. Celeste is running the bathroom, but I wanted to shoot a quick video here. We got a complimentary rack of macaroons because they are running just a little bit late on the service, but it's been a fantastic meal. Last night we had Mido. Today for lunch, we had this, a shredding gaston, and it's been fantastic. Okay, so a wine reduction with a melon sorbet. We got macaroon pont because it was a little bit late, but it looks really good. Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's good. <laughs> Too much power. Too much. Too much power. Too strong. So this is the long lip chocolate. So we have three chocolates. We have orange, lemon, and pisco. You have to guess oh, which one is which. Olive oil. Olive oil. Oh, I thought to bring out the flavor. Right. I maybe oil. said lemon. He said lemon the first time. Yeah, here it is. Vive el chocolate. You have to guess which one it is. Class course. They give you all these to choose from. And they're incredible. Yeah, they're Okay, and that's it for a Shrewd and Gasson. It was fantastic. Another delicious tasting menu. The wine pairing actually, I think, would made it a little bit better for me than Mido. But the food at Mido might have been a little bit better, honestly. Because that was like a Japanese fusion. This is all Peruvian. Okay, we're catching our flight to Cusco. We're leaving a Shrewd and Gasson. And uh, that's about it. And then we'll see you on the, in the airplane. Well, that was one of the biggest cluster clusters I've ever been a part of. We had to run security, check through. There was so much traffic getting through Lima. Check our bags, but we made it just in time. We got the last two people to board. Last, oh, the last five people to board the plane. It's only about an hour flight, so we should be good. Okay, we made it to Cusco. It's a pretty short flight, pretty easy actually. There were some screaming kids behind us, but it wasn't the worst, honestly. Thankfully, it was a short flight. Now we've got to grab our bags that we had to check. It was an extra $35 on Matam, which is okay. And uh, then we're off. We, gotta, we have a ride set up. We're gonna go to Indian Wings Hotel and maybe try to find some place for dinner. Right? Yeah, see. 
Hey, Pango Ombre. Okay, so real quick, we're in the Cusco airport. Got our bags here, super easy. We checked them at the gate. And uh, here's the exit. So very tiny airport, but very easy to navigate. All right, we're at Indian Wings. We came in. I'm in a good mood because just got to play Rocket Man and a little bit of Billy Joel on the piano. Got a nice little room here. We got to guess what size bed we got, Celeste. It's a king, baby. It's a very nice king. And it's about 8.45 and I think we might call it an early night. I'm not sleeping here, come on. <laughs> All right, that's it, in Cusco. Such a cool city, like it's just dripping with culture and character. I think we're really get you, catching it at a good time. There's the guinea pigs. <laughs> 